What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right, so shout out to Ticket TV for doing a video talking about uh, Charles Barkley appearing on CNN earlier today, sharing his goddamn warped ass thoughts when it comes to the Kyrie Irving situation. Um, I thought this situation would eventually fade into obscurity, but apparently it's still going on strong. All right, so this is what Charles Barkley had to say. He said, quote, people have a right to feel and say what they want to. We have freedom of speech, but there are repercussions when you say certain things. Now, I have to ask once again, what exactly did Kyrie Irving say that elicited this type of unprecedented amount of attention and scrutiny. Um, I don't remember anything that he said uh, other than that he shared a link to a movie that's been around for four years that he thought uh, made, a, made some interesting points as far as the origin of black people. That was the focus of the tweet. Unbeknownst to him, I guess you could criticize him and say maybe he should have looking to the movie more, but unbeknownst to him, there are certain other undercurrents in the documentary or movie that could possibly be considered anti, you know what? But there was also other elements of the movie that were anti-Christian, anti-Muslim, anti-everything when it comes to religion. Because it's, it, it brings an alternative take. But of course... Whatever. And, you know, and the people that talk about Myers Leonard, Myers Leonard, who oh, you guys don't care about Myers Leonard. You guys don't care about. First of all, Myers Leonard actually said a racial slur derogative of Jewish people. He should have been suspended, you fucking idiot. I'm, I'm referring to a comment I saw on the page. He should have been suspended. What the fuck are you talking about? He showed the same energy to Myers Leonard. Shut up, you fucking racist. You only bringing up Myers Leonard because of sour grapes because you think we're only taking up for Kyrie Irving because he's black. It has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Right is right. And by the way, Myers Leonard was suspended a week and fined $50,000 by the NBA. The only reason why he's probably not in the league is because he sucks. All right? He was a role player and a fringe role player, and he's in his 30s. Kyrie Irving is a player at the peak of his powers. He's a superstar. Kyrie been suspended more than a week, and he's been fined altogether almost $3 million for sharing a link versus the guy that actually said the worst thing you could call someone who's Jewish. So get the fuck out of my face, you idiot. But anyway, Charles Barkley also goes to say, goes on to say, this thing with free speech has really gotten out of hand. You can't go around insulting people and think it's okay just because there's freedom of speech. You mean like when you call the women of San Antonio fat? I mean, isn't that uh, insulting people? I mean, I'm technically, right? But we take up for y'all because, like, hey, man, it's just a joke. But technically, you are insulting people. You're insulting a group of people, obese women that live in San Antonio. And, Charles, you said a lot of things over the years that people find offense to. But the reason why you get protected Mr. Barkley, it's because you say things like this. You go over to places like CNN and Fox Sports, and you say things like this. Remember when you said this, Mr. Barkley? There are a lot of black people who are unintelligent, who don't have success. It's best to knock a successful black person down because they're intelligent. Uh, they speak well, they do well in school, and they're successful. 
it's crabs in the barrel. We're the only ethnic group that says, hey, if you go to jail, it gives you street cred. Okay. Well, first of all, to say that a lot of black people are unintelligent is the worst thing you could ever fucking say on national television. I can't believe, I couldn't believe when you said that shit. I could not, that, that's for my opinion of Charles Barkley Shane. I might be entertained by shit that he says, but that's when I realized, yeah, this dude is a super duper, you know what, super duper coon. Has that ever occurred to you, Charles, that the culture, that, first of all, we're the only group in this, in this society that doesn't control our own culture. And we've let other people dictate what is our culture. And have you ever decided, have you ever considered Barkley and other people that love to shit on black people, Whitlock and others, that our culture has been predetermined by others? Like people always talk about these rappers, these rappers, these rappers, but who's the one that's actually pulling the strings and putting these rappers in place? What happened to the conscious rap music that we grew up listening to? They were purposely put out the stock and replaced by quote-unquote gangster rappers. But it was all by design. And like I always say, it's a tie-in between the rap industry and the prison industrial complex. It's an unholy alliance that both have been profiting off of for over 30 years. The music industry is profited financially, and the prison industrial complex is profited financially off of more and more black people, in particular black men, going to more and more of these prisons that they're investing in and have stock in, and they're making hundreds of millions of dollars off of the prison industrial complex. And many of the people in the music industry who are at the highest ranks have stock in prison. But what do I know? I'm just some dumb nigga on YouTube. I don't know what I'm talking about. I ain't got a suit on. I'm not on TV. But anyway, fuck you, Charles Barker, because you don't really have any goddamn credibility in this issue, bro. You or, Sha or Shaq. Shaq been caught, you know what I'm saying, all types of fucked up shit. I mean, seriously, like, when you look at it, these dudes, do they really have any real, like, look, when I, when I, when I listen to Shaq and Barkley and Kenny and them, I just want to hear them talk about basketball. I listen to them when it comes to basketball, but moralizing, you know, about the black community or people in general moralizing from them? Moralizing. You know, Barkley, when you threw that man through the plate, through that window, you were cavorting with women, but you're married. You're a married man. You think you was just there with those women just to socialize? Man, y'all was going to get y'all fuck on. That's all good. It ain't my business. But don't sit up there and act like you fucking goddamn preacher Pauly and shit now. You spit on a little girl, Mr. Barkley. You've done a lot of fucked up shit. Talk down to your people. Shaq did too. How many times... From what I can, from what I can recall, how many times Shaq through his gang affiliates had people beaten up and shit and robbed? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you didn't hear about that, did you? Oh yeah, these guys did a lot of shit, a lot of dirt back in their day. But you can hear that about, you can hear that about that in the media. Shaq also got robbed, motherfucker. Fucking bullying Shaq, and there was some misunderstanding, and his ass got robbed. 
by motherfuckers he was fucking with. But anyway, like I said, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just, I'm just talking. I'm just talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just some crazy old dude on YouTube. But tell me what you guys think. 